I still pull on my hair, but this is what my hair is looking like now. I still pull on my hair, but this is what my hair is looking like now. Having done my wash routine this week, uh, what I did differently was I used the hair mayonnaise uh, conditioner. Instead of using a rinse out conditioner, I used the really heavy cream dense um, product. And yeah, so I got a lot of moisture in my hair and it looks pretty good. So these are the products that I use this week for my wash routine. I use the Shea Moisture African Water Mint and Ginger Detox and Refresh Hair and Scalp Gentle Shampoo. Then I use the Hair Mayonnaise Hair E-Store. I used the Leave-In Conditioning Cream from Cantu and then I put the coconut oil on my hair to seal in the uh, conditioner from the leave-in conditioning cream and then to twist my hair I used the Cantu Shea Butter Moisturizing Twist Lock and Gel. The reason I used this hair mayonnaise was I wanted to give some extra moisture to my hair and this is what I used to do that and with this I kept it in for about 30 minutes and I put a plastic bag on my head. Instead of putting my um, head under a dryer, I used a plastic bag to really get that moisture into my hair strands. Okay, now it's time to take this bag off my head. There we go. Yeah, so take it off and it still feels like I have a lot of the conditioner on my hair because I have to rinse it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm telling you, this hair mayonnaise, it has a distinguished smell, but it smells good. Just like the shampoo smelled good. Um, I just put a shampoo and then a conditioner, my rinse out conditioner. And uh, so next after this, I'm gonna do my leave-in conditioner, do the lock method, but I need to make sure that the pH of my leave-in conditioner is going to be lower or the same. It can be the same. Rinse out conditioner and the leave-in conditioner can be the same pH level. We just don't want our leave-in conditioner to be a higher pH than the rinse out because that means then you are lifting up the cuticle layer and that's what we don't want to do. So let me I don't even need to measure it because I know exactly what I'm going to use. So once after I rinse out this uh, rinse out conditioner, I'm going to use that. Yeah, and that one is going is a five. So let's go ahead and rinse this out, and I'm going to do that right now. All right, so I just rinsed out the hair mayonnaise, and my hair feels super soft. It feels super soft, tangly, tangle free. I'm telling you, it feels super, super soft. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my leave-in conditioner. I already know what the pH is, but I'm just gonna measure it here because that's what you're supposed to do. Take one of my pH strips and I am going to dip this into the mix jar. All right. I don't need my glasses for this when I need it close. So anyway, let me go ahead. I've already put it in there and I'm gonna compare it to the bars on the back of here. 
let's see, what is it? So it's between a four and a five. It's definitely not a four and it's definitely not a five. So this leave-in conditioning cream is 4.5, which is great to use after the rinse out conditioner. So using it in this order, the rinse out conditioner, then using the leave-in conditioning cream from Cantu, perfect order because this one is the highest pH. This is a lower pH than this one. And what you're doing, you are retaining the uh, moisture in your hair by keeping the order from high to low. So use this, and now I'm gonna use this and put this all over my hair. And then from there, I'm gonna put an oil to coat it. And then I'm gonna use my cream to twist my hair. So that's how it goes. And the cream I use to twist my hair, it will be the same pH as my leave-in conditioner. And I'm gonna show you what I use. So I wanna make sure that you know that you need to keep a certain order where your pH goes from highest to lowest. Your shampoo to your cream to twist your hair is high to low. All right. Okay, so I've already done one side off camera the leave-in conditioner and it's Cantu leave-in conditioning cream and I'm putting a hefty amount on my hair and making sure I really get the ends so this is one side and this is the other side that I need to do so just going to show you a little bit what I do put take some of this and just put it on the ends Oh, wait a minute, I need to do that. Okay. This is my wash routine. For those of you that don't follow my natural hair journey, which is most of you, that don't follow my natural hair journey. Um, I've had a few hiccups along the way. One of the hiccups were my hair completely fell out in the center of the back of my hair. At the nape of my neck, my hair fell out. And come to find out, which is really true, I was wearing a do-rag at night and I was uh, tying it really tight around the back of my hair. And so, my hair fell out on both where did it fall out oh yeah it fell out right in the middle so i had hair on the sides but no hair in the middle so it looked really awkward so it forced me to have to cut my hair in the back where i just shaved the back of my head and i am now allowing it to grow back and that was probably about two three months ago and I can say my hair is starting to grow back and I'm not really doing a lot to the back of it because it's just simply too short. But there, I actually shaved it all the way where I could not even pull hair. But now I can pull hair. So it's definitely growing. And as far as, oops. As far as the front of my hair, sides of my hair, it is growing too. Now it's completely covered. So there, I have all of my hair covered with the leave-in conditioner. So now that I have the leave-in conditioner in, next thing to do is lock in this conditioner and I'm just using over-the-counter store-bought grocery store bought actually coconut oil and it is organic coconut oil and I will be putting this on my hair now with when it comes to this I don't I'm not worried about the pH level because it doesn't have a pH oil does not carry a pH it's simply because there's no water in oil so you can't measure it so all you're doing with 
coconut oil or any oil is coating your hair and so after you put a conditioner on your hair you're coating your hair with the uh, oil in order to make sure that moisture stays on your hair strands and I like using the lock method it works best for me because I have high porosity hair so anyway so let me go ahead and put the oil on my hair I've already started let it melt in my hands put it on my hair all the way through and then I'll put my cream on my hair to twist my hair and I'll be done with this shampoo routine for this week. Okay, so until later, peace. Okay, so now that I got the oil, coconut oil, completely throughout my hair, it's time to do my twist ends. And I'm going to use Cantu Shea Butter Moisturizing Twist Locking Gel. Uh, luckily, it is in the same family as the leave-in conditioner cream leave-in conditioning cream that I just put on my hair so it's probably safe to say that the pH level is either going to be the same or the moisturizing lock and gel will be a lower pH but I'm pretty sure that they're probably the same as I said this was around 4.5 to 5 and this leave-in conditioner is what you put on before you twist your hair so this is something that goes on after that and I'm pretty sure the manufacturers will have taken into consideration to have the pH be either the same or lower than the leave-in conditioner in order to continue the downward order of the pH in order to lower the cuticle layer and retain moisture in your hair so I will go ahead and test this Yeah, so it's the same thing. It's a 4.5 to 5.0. So yes, so this is good. So we're going to be able to use that moisturizing lock and gel because it is uh, the same pH level as the leave-in conditioning cream. And that's what we're going to do to twist my hair. So I'm going to twist most of my hair off camera and I will show the final just to show you how my hair looks after I've twisted my hair. Until later. Peace. Okay, I just went ahead and um, twisted my hair. I am truly tired. It's almost 10.30 at night and this is the final product. So really what I wanted to show you were the products that I used on my hair and also show that uh, the pH order is in descending order and that's the proper way to go when it comes to your products that you put on your hair. So make sure the pH of each product that you put on your hair from beginning to end is the beginning product is the highest pH and the last product you put on your hair has the lowest pH. So in other words when it comes to a shampoo routine your shampoo, well first of all your water and your water is the highest pH then your shampoo then your rinse out conditioner then your leave-in conditioner is a lower and then the cream you put on your hair to twist your hair that is the lowest maybe you want to consider using those products together because you will know that based on my testing of the products testing of the pH they are in descending order and are in the proper order so that is it for this video I hope you liked it if you did please make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions or comments about it please make sure you post them below and also I will continue to try and post videos about my hair journey my hair is growing it's healthy and I am enjoying the whole journey and love sharing it with you guys so if you are interested in following my journey please make sure you subscribe to my channel so until next time this is naturally Z signing out peace I'm going to bed. Peace. <laughs>